Hi guys, welcome back to my another video. Um, today, I will be mainly speaking and sharing about my thoughts and experience about this very special Tiffany Blue cable, uh, which is a demo cable from Alpha Omega CIM, Sarawak in Malaysia. Um, this cable really surprises me, first of all because of how it can compare to the MEST, the OG version, the original MK1, the stock cable, which is very expensive if you, if you want to buy it separately. And also comparing to Kotori Audio, okay, this one is the custom 8-core carbon. So I have another cable which is the tungsten from Kotori Audio also, but uh, I didn't bring it here today, so I will be sharing it about how this uh, Tiffany blue cable compared to the other cables okay so let's start with the specification uh, I'm being told by boss Clement about this cable is 22 AWG which is quite a thick cable the lesser AWG value indicates the thicker of the single conducting cable <coughs> yeah so just to let you know, uh, Kotori Audio Carbon and, and Tungsten are using 28 AWG. So meaning the single individual conducting wire is super thin. If you compare to 22 AWG, you can search the AWG units and how does it converted to millimeters in terms of the single strand uh, conductor, either is copper or silver plated copper in terms of millimeter. So 22 AWG is quite thick in the IEM market because usually uh, companies will use from the most common is 26 to maximum 28 lah. Then 22 AWG is like really thick. So the price of this cable, okay, let's talk about the specs and then the price. The price is interesting because this cable really can overtook the Kotori Audio Carbon and Tungsten. This one is the 4-core, this one is the demo 4-core. It, it actually hands down beaten the Kotori Audio 8-core in certain aspect. Later I'll be sharing more. So you can search on um, Shopee. You can see this is the name of the cable is Breeze and then if you do it 4-core will be 198. If you do it 6-core will be 288. And these are the specs you can see. This one is type. This one is typo area. Should be twenty two. Okay, and it's a six N slit type silver plated copper cable. Okay, you can choose uh, whatever termination you want. Two pin MMCX. Uh, in terms of jet, you can go for two point five millimeter or four point four millimeter balance or you know three point five mm unbalanced. Okay, so now the main point is this cable. I've been trying it with these three IEMs, okay? Using this Breeze Tiffany Blue cable to try on the Kotori Audio Vampire. To try on my, of course, my favorite uh, Alpha Omega Omigron. Okay, and also the well-known uh, in the market in chi Fi or International, which is the MEST. Now, um... Because due to this is a very thick conducting cable, 22 AWG compared to, you know, 26 or rather 28 AWG. Um, first, I'll be sharing about what I heard in the Vampire. Okay, Vampire before that is just using tungsten and carbon. Uh, carbon actually give it more kind of a mid-base elevation to it while preserving other qualities. And when I switch the cable to this breeze cable onto the vampire the sub base is boosted how to say is is it can go you know more extended into the sub base region let's say before that using carbon core uh, maybe the 20 hertz to to 30 hertz is not that appearing but it's there but after switching it to the uh, very thick 22 awg copper plated silver uh silver plated copper you can hear more of that low end, meaning it will extend the uh, sub bass region. So you have more rumbling. And at the same time, because this is silver plated, then carbon nickel is just pure copper. This will actually help to extend the heights in terms of 
three IEMs. This is what I noticed. And especially on the Omicron, it it actually how to say polishes the sound and making the low region solid and making the uh sub bass even more extended, even more hearable, more audible. So so far so many cable I tried with Omicron, this is the far best matching cable. Um, I haven't tried Kotori Audio's uh, Epsilon, which is also pure copper. Uh, let's see, it will be coming soon. So I will compare it again and then share my thoughts in uh, version 2. And if this cable used in the MEST, because I am quite a warmth guy, I cannot, uh, how to say, take too much of the high treble because it will sound a little bit harsh to me if it's too much because as you guys know MEST uh, it has both BA and EST for the uh, for, for the high treble and also airy highs so the default cable sounded okay everything is towards my uh, limit especially the heights and when I switch to this um, Breeze Tiffany Blue cable using in the MEST um yes the sub bass is very good it is far more extended than the stock cable that 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 comes with it but it also uh help to extend the uh, high treble which sometimes certain genres of music i cannot take it because it actually even enhance more of the high frequency treble in mst so making it a little bit uh, ear piercing to me sometimes in the long run while omegron is in a sweet spot because the Omicron, the ultra high, the high treble is uses two EST. So it is the real sound of the EST. While the MEST is like a mix of uh, BA and EST together. So everything sounded really sweet with this cable. So that's my sharing about this um, cable. Maybe I will zoom in for you guys to see the quality of it. You can see it is very nicely done. The jack maybe is from Bispa, I'm not sure. It's all alloy construction. Okay, even the the splitter is also alloy and even I I don't know what is this core is also alloy. And don't worry, the two pin is also alloy type. And if not mistaken is EAC Taiwan kind of a very good quality two pin. Yeah, hope you guys can see. It's actually same as the one using in uh, you can see here in the carbon eight core, just that uh, Boss Clement chooses the transparent inside of it, and this one is uh, using black color. Yeah, so it's the same. It's EAC two pin, very high quality cable, and yet the price you see. If you go for 6 core, it costs you about 288. Some have voucher. And if you go for 4 core, which is this demo, it costs you less than 200. So, why not? You, you, you guys wanted to improve both the uh, high and the ultra sub base, low end of the IM. You can just get this cable. Because it's really surprising. Once I pair it with especially Vampire that time during the first time when I received this demo then only I pair with Omegro and then it's like wow I can't believe it actually make the bass in the Omegro sounded even more solid okay it's a very beautiful cable last round I'll let you guys to see a really high quality 4.4 millimeter jack and also the cable is soft the cable is soft and flexible the carbon is slightly harder you can see and this is also harder yeah so this is a really soft cable which improve the uh, what uh, and re and reduce the telephonic effect you know so it's very really good you know made in Malaysia why not support Malaysia okay and it's listed in Shopee so you guys can get this cable anytime you want okay here's the title I will put the link into the YouTube description as well so this is the end of my video and I hope everyone do okay and see you next time. Bye-bye.